Shame if it went to waste. Oh, um, yeah. Turkey's ready. Ooh, turkey. Simon. Yeah. Could you pass us the sprouts? Welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. It's December 7th, 2023, right here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. And I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You all know my pal Bugsy, but he's migrated to a spot under my desk. Everything's fine. I don't know why he's under there, but uh, where Bugsy wants to go, we let him. (laughs) I hope your Thursday is going well. Because it is the Advent season, this is in fact the fifth day of Advent, we're going through a book that I wrote especially for the members and friends of First Congregational Church. It's entitled A Weary World Rejoices and is a collection of daily devotions, especially for the Advent season, and we invite all of you to join with us as we go through this series of devotions, and if you'd like a copy of the book, just stop by First Congregational Church, and we'll fix you up with one absolutely free of charge. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Creeds have been an important part of the church since the beginning, nearly. These statements of faith handed down by our spiritual ancestors help us to define and articulate foundational Christian beliefs that nearly all Christian churches share. These historic creeds are not intended to infringe on the autonomy of the local church under the authority of Christ, but They simply help Christians recognize the difference between orthodoxy and heresy. They help us maintain unity in the essential doctrines. One of the most well-known creeds is the Apostles' Creed, and it's number 162 in our hymnals here at First Congregational Church. It dates back to about 350 A.D., and it says this, I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, was suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. (laughs) You know, there is hope found in these core beliefs that all Christians share as they point us to the hope of Christ, especially in the Advent season. Father, we thank you for the love and grace that you show us, and we thank you for those, Lord, who articulated the core beliefs of our faith. We ask that you would help us, Lord, to walk in them, to live according to them, to act like we're people on our way to heaven. Lord, we thank you for this day, this Thursday, and ask that you would redeem it for your purpose. 
And we ask that you use us however you see fit. Bless us, O Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. I hope your t- our time together was a blessing to you, and I hope your Thursday is fantastic. Signing off for now, God bless you all. I'll see you tomorrow.